Step one is to take your butt to Craigslist right now. Post in the gig section of five to ten cities that you want somebody to go to job fairs and drop off your resumes in person to the recruiters. Since I've been remote living in Panama, Mexico and places like this for the past few years, this type of strategy has gotten me over like 37 clients without me having to lift a freaking finger. And the second unique way is to do a testimonial. But here's the secret to making this method work. Don't purchase something that everybody purchases from them then you won't stand out go to their websites go to their youtube channels look at something that does not get much visibility uh the thing that gets the least amount of sales but they were super passionate about it buy that okay it can be something super cheap you don't have to spend a lot of money uh, it can be the same amount of what you cost uh to generate a lead on facebook ads when you're trying to get clients or whatever so purchase that that's going to draw their attention then you want to do a super in-depth and exciting testimonial now that is something that they have to open so you guys are doing a lot of cold calling and cold emailing if you send it with the subject line approve my blank that's where the company will go approve my testimonial you say dear blah 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 i'm about to release this test to my audience and to the public but before I do can you review it and confirm that is okay with your brand positioning or image or something right so now you're getting them to interact with you and now reciprocity kicks in they're going to want to do something better uh, uh, they're going to want to do something in return so then it opens up opens up conversation another problem is you guys can't even get past the gatekeeper so here's what you're gonna do step three is you're going to offer to purchase their company mergers and acquisitions so what this does is this gets you past the gatekeeper and it opens up the conversation but what you want to do is let them know you're going to try to lowball them because their valuation is too low and then when they say yo i i, I don't think so i'm not really interested and you say well what if i brought up your valuation high enough to where you can make a big exit so that is going to force them into being a client a marketing client of yours in order for you to even get their valuation up you understand what i'm saying so you're going to leverage their money to increase their evaluation maybe even expansion wise and then another method that you can use is something called build and release okay so one form of that would be like rank and rent where you build a site or if you don't want to build a site to do SEO you can simply just put up an ad right so you put up an ad on Google YouTube Twitter Facebook whatever it is when it starts generating sales you roll out the red carpet meaning you start sending them calls up front use the cheapest ways you can do this guys and then announce yourself okay so the building release is now you're like okay your first impression is that this works their first impression of you is that this works so that skips past all the skepticism the need for uh testimonials and all of that extra stuff and you say okay sir all i have to do is put this in your possession i'm going to assign this property that i built ahead of time to you you already know it works let's agree on a price now for my favorite way and possibly the best way of getting clients is by doing interviews why because this sets you up as an authority multiple ways all right they want to boost their ego they're excited about their business so when you reach out to do an interview not only are you different but you're pause stroking their ego giving them a chance to flex on local competitors and establish themselves as an authority and it's free for you to do an interview and on top of that this gets you automatic referrals what do I mean by that so if you structure the interview properly Properly with the right types of questions don't forget when a person is doing an interview mom I'm on TV <laughs> they're gonna tell their social media that can be one of your requirements hey make sure that you post that we're going to do an interview to your audience right so if they're a realtor on Instagram chances are they're followed by other realtors if they're a plumber on Twitter chances are they're followed by other uh, uh, you know plumbers and the good thing is if you go after people that already have an audience let's say they have 10,000 20,000 followers or whatever and all of those people are roofers or something when you do this interview and they post that and you structure the uh, the questions properly it's going to entice those other roofers to want to be interacted with you the same way that this roofer is interacted with you so this does something for you even if that roofer that you're interviewing is not going to work with you which they'll look stupid to the rest of the audience if they don't freaking work with you you're leveraging them to actually get to their audience of people that will pay you they're going to want to deal with you since they were dealing with you people are sheep right so the interview method is probably the most powerful method because it allows you to leverage them multiple ways on top of that let's say you got a channel now you have content for your channel so you got content for your channel that's monetized you're gonna build your authority and reputation as the guy that's interviewing them and, and, and you know about their industry 
So when you reach out to any of these roofers and stuff, you're already going to have a name. They're going to answer your DMs, right? People don't answer DMs because they don't know you. But after so many interviews and being shared by the people in the industry, right? They're going to know you. So when you DM them or somebody from your staff DMs, DM, it's not cold DMs anymore. It's warm DMs, right? Like, yo, I want to be on your show. So anybody that you reach out to can potentially become a client because they've already interacted with you. They know that you're knowledgeable and they trust you because you gave them visibility on your channel. And on top of that, you get referrals from them, whether they personally give them to you or not, just because your requirement to be on the interview is that, hey, you're going to share this with your followers to get more people to come watch the interview. They're going to be excited to see you. If they're followers of you, they're going to be excited to see you on the interview. So guys, this is a way to get steady, a steady flow of clients.